smarter, work smarter rather than harder. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. And today I wanna to talk to you about how can you work smarter instead of harder. Now look, if you really want to, you can be amazing and you can do both. You can work smarter and harder and then great, all good things coming your way. However, let's have a little bit of a think about what it means to work harder and what it means to work smarter and how can you actually go about doing that. And I'm gonna try and apply a lot of this to your marketing, to your advertising as well. So you think about working hard. Working hard is like, okay, cool, I'm gonna work from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m., go home, have a break, and then I'm gonna keep working, right? That might be working harder. Or going, cool, I'm gonna work six, seven days a week. Or I'm gonna bring on more team members to work hard as well, right? Because then you multiply what the actual output is that you're able to create. Working smarter is looking at going, cool, how do I do the most important things for my business, for my marketing? Because a lot of times you can just stuck being busy, being busy. It's like, oh, I'm so flat out and I have so many things going on. But what I find most of the time is that that is absolute BS, right? I'm not gonna swear, save the good YouTube gods from not shutting us down. So what do I mean by that? Well, most of the time, People think about all of the micro things that they need to do. Let's think about, for example, making a cup of coffee, right? If we look at it at the macro level or the high level, I need to make a cup of coffee. If we look at the micro level, I need to go, I need to get a cup. I need to wash that cup, make sure that it's clean. I need to go over to the coffee machine. I need to lift the lid up on the espresso pods. I've got to then pick up an espresso pod. I've got to put the pod in the top. I've got to push it down. I've got to press go. I've got to wait 15, 20 seconds for it to heat up. Then I've got to press go. Then I've got to get all of the coffee to come out. Then I've got to stir it up. I've got to add sugar or milk if I have that. Then I've got to wait a little bit for it to cool down before I can sip it, then I drink my coffee. That sounds overwhelming, right? That sounds very, very much like hard work. When in reality, all you're doing is making a cup of coffee. Let's think about now, how do you apply that in the world of your marketing, of your advertising? I've got to launch an advertising campaign for a client or for yourself. Then more people go, oh, but I've got to um, click on, I've got to get the creative, I've got to write the ad copy, I've got to test it, I've got to make sure the image size is right, I've got to make sure there's not too much text on there, I've got to ensure that when I go in, I select the right objective. Oh, what is, is Facebook gonna like this? Are they not gonna like this? Oh, what happens if I click this and I put the wrong placement on? Oh no, what if I, how do I set my budget? And what about my targeting? Oh my God, there's so many different targeting options. How am I gonna do all of this stuff? And then to get down, it's like, oh, did I put the right link in? Have I got the pixels on there? What's a pixel? It sounds overwhelming, right? When in reality, all you need to do is launch a campaign. But when you get stuck up in the minutia, the small components of what you need to do every single day, that is where you will find that you have stress, overwhelm, and it becomes very hard to work smart. When you chunk them together, when you bring it back and you look at it at a macro level going, cool, today I have to launch a campaign. That's one thing you have to do. Yes, there are many small components, but you only have that one thing to do. Then yes, I need to do sales calls. Great, how many do you have? Three, awesome, you have three things to do today. You've got 12 hours to get it done in, not that hard, right? But when people start to break down at a very micro level, all the little things that they have to do, it's very easy to become stressed, overwhelmed, it's like, oh, how do I do this? Now, how do you work smarter, cool? First of all, it's thinking smarter, going cool. Instead of opposed to me thinking of all the little things I've got to do, I've got not much to do. I've got three things to do today. Right? And then how do you work smarter with that? So the only way that you can do that is by starting to automate using processes or people. And processes include software. So one of my favorite, favorite things is a tool called Zapier or Zapier, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Now, what that does is it allows you to work ridiculously smart because if you do something repetitively, repetitively, what it does is it allows you to automate that process. So let's just say that you have to, even if it's getting a lead inquiry sent to yourself, even if it's updating a spreadsheet for yourself, Zapier can do that for you. So if you have anywhere where you've got two systems talking to each other, or even a calendar being created or internal communication with staff, Zapier allows you to do anything that you do on repeat. It allows you to automate it by click of a button. You click on an update, send the information that you have from one point to another point. But you can't do that unless you have the processes down pat and understand what you need to have happen. So by building out the right processes, it then allows you to go, how do I automate this so that it's smarter rather than harder for me? How do I automate this process so that I can either get a person to do it, automate by using a staff member, a team member, a virtual assistant maybe, or how do I automate this using 
software? How do I automate this using a piece of software? So I'll give you an example, and I've done this before, we've talked a lot about automation um, and saving time, which is, let's just say contract automation. So you have make a sale and a contract goes out to a client. Using tools like Infusionsoft and Zapier, as soon as a sale is made, and something is completed, you can have an automatic zap go in. And there's really, there's four parts of software, which is one whole person's job. And it might take that person 45 minutes, but it happens automatically when you have this done by software. So you have a, a client's details, they've just, you've just organized the payment, you've got all their payment details, you've filled it in. What happens next? Well, they need to get a invoice, they need to get a contract. Once the contract has been signed, they need to get onboarding details sent to them. Right? And then they also need to be added into any internal systems that you have. So there already is four key components. So let's look at it from the beginning. If you go, cool, you need to have an automation that happens. Once you have those details compiled, automation needs to go to zero to record and log your invoice. Then you need to have an automation go to your, whatever you use to push your contracts out. We use Adobe Sign, um, it used to be called Echo Sign. So what happens is that client's details gets automatically pushed into a contract using web merge and that pushes out and emails them a copy of the contract. Only once they've signed the contract, only once they've signed it, our system in Infusionsoft, which goes through and checks every 10 minutes to see if they've signed it, will then automatically send out an email with all the welcome information, all the onboarding information that they need to have to get started. Right? And then they're also added into, once they get that information, they get into our membership sites and accesses or any onboarding forms that they need. And they're allowed to join any of, and they're requested to join any of our groups that we have. Maybe it's a, uh, our mobile group, or maybe it's our done for you uh, Slack channels. So think about all of that. That's just by using that process, identifying what has to happen, then identifying what software can do it for me or a person, we potentially cut down on 45 minutes of someone's time. 45 minutes of someone's time to do that, right? And I'll, I'll, let me give you a simple example of that as well because that is a pretty hefty amount of time to save. Think about if you just use something as simple as Facebook lead ads, a lot of people don't know how to take the leads from there, put them into their CRM or autoresponder, or even just get a notification that they have them. We had a client once that told me, came to an event, told me what I taught him didn't work at that event. I saw him at another event, right? We set it all up, everyone was happy. He had a few disapprovals because he was a photographer. The next event I saw him, he told me that it didn't work. And he said, hopefully this time, Kim, you know, I just told everyone I'm gonna help them, it always works. He's like, Kim, it actually didn't work for me last time I saw you, so hopefully this time it works. And I was like, it didn't, I was like, look, you know, nine times out of 10, 100% of the time it works every time. You know, 90% of the time it works every time. This time we'll get it, this time we'll get it down pat. I went and jumped and looked at his ad account. He actually had 35 leads he hadn't contacted because he didn't know how to check and jump in and look at his ad account and then he didn't have any notifications coming to him to let him know that he had those leads. He's just like, oh, this didn't work. He's like, I spent a couple hundred bucks, nothing happened. He actually got 35 leads that he didn't follow up with because he didn't have an automation process set up. So it actually cost him by not knowing how to automate and work smarter rather than harder, looking in every day to check that, he didn't have that set up for him. So it's something as simple as that can save you time, energy, effort, and you start to work smarter, right? And then if you combine that with working harder, then you're gonna be streets ahead of the competition. So I highly recommend that number one, you take away from this video, is that you should be going and creating a process map of what you do in your business, especially in the marketing areas. And you may not know how to do something yet, but you can always ask, and we'll put a link in this um, in this video to our Facebook group, where you can always ask and go, hey, I do this, is there a way to automate this? Is there a way to systemize this and process base it so that I can have things happen very fast, very easily and effectively inside of my business, inside of my advertising? Most of the time the answer will be yes. And if I don't know, I'll be able to figure out a way for you. And it might help me with something too, who knows? So number one is work out what you need to have happen and what would you like if you go, cool, it gets to here, I want this to happen. Like we had that with one of our clients. It's like, oh, I want it to come into this system. Can we do it? And we managed to figure out a way in the back end using Zapier to allow all those processes to happen. So every lead that comes in, comes into a, a certain area of his pipe drive account. He gets that, it goes in, he can update it. It's easy, it's smooth for him, and it works with the systems and processes that he has. So it can be really, really, really effective. And it can build a really, really, really great outcome for 
your business if you can do that. And when it comes to your marketing, then you don't have to go, oh wow, I've got so much to do. It's like, well, I'm just gonna work smart. I've already systemized and automated a chunk of the information that I need to have happen. And now I can build out templates. Again, that's how you can save time and work smarter when it comes to your advertising. I've built out templates that I know work really, really, really well because every other time that I've done it, maybe you've got, you know, I don't know, maybe the converting ad template that we have and that helps you every single time. Um, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, put the link in the bio, please, video about this one. Um, so that you can get, every single time, converting ads, right? By using a template and a system to identify what to use. Now, if you do that, I guarantee that you'll be working smarter, right? You can work less if you need to, but if you wanna work hard as well, that means that you, again, will be streets ahead of the competition. Now, guys, if you have liked this video, please give me a little thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know anything else that you need information about, anything else that I can help you with in your business and marketing world. And as always, subscribe so that we see you here before anyone else. All right, until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.